How's it going? That was a long ordeal. Are you excited? Yeah, I am excited. A few years ago, Derek moved to Louisiana for graduate school at Nichols State University. When he moved, I promised to come and visit. Fast forward to his last semester of school, I finally made the long overdue trek to the Pelican State. After a couple of plane rides and delays due to inclement weather, I arrived in New Orleans excited to explore the vast bayous, salt marshes, and swamps of the Gulf Coast. My goal for the week-long trip was to see as many species in Louisiana as possible and to eclipse the 100 species benchmark. Since migration had just started, many species had already moved out, but not many had moved in, making this quest something of a challenge. I met up with the welcome committee and we drove to Derek's apartment in Thibodeau, which would serve as our base camp for the week. How's it going? That was a long ordeal. Are you excited? Yeah, I am excited. I bought a t-shirt. I, yeah, I heard. <laughs> what is it on? It says Nashville, Music City. You were there. I was there. A little bit. I didn't go outside, but I was there. That counts. The next day, we planned on heading toward Baton Rouge, the capital of the state. But before we left, I recorded my first bird of Louisiana. First morning in Louisiana, and we just got up a little while ago. I was a little tired from the travel, so uh, we're getting a little bit of a late start. But I think I heard my first uh, bird in Louisiana, because everything is new here for me, because I've never been here before. Unfortunately, it was the house sparrow, and I wish I was wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. But soon we're going to go out and explore and hopefully see some more stuff. So we're going to head to the tree outside that normally has the most interesting birds, because there's house sparrows that just live outside the apartment. So I did hear a house sparrow. You did hear a house sparrow. He's so excited about this house sparrow. It's my first Louisiana bird. <laughs> you ready to go? <laughs> yeah. After getting eyes on my first Louisiana species, we started the drive north to Baton Rouge. What are the odds I can work my way into the top 50 by the time the week's over? Mm, depends how we do in Cameron. Top 75. Maybe. Top 100. I don't, I don't really know where people are. So last year, I think I had like 195 birds by now or something, and this year I have like 60. There's, oh, a, there's a blue jay. jay. There's a guy walking his dog. I'm not going to get that. So all these trees here are live oaks. What's that mean? It's just a species of oak. It's oh, something that's really cool is when live. their branches... Yeah, they're called live oaks. When their branches get really heavy, they'll fall, and then they'll just grow from there. So it like supports itself on the ground. That's interesting. And you should see examples of that more as we kind of see some bigger ones. It's nice having a tour guide. It sure is, isn't it? We made a quick stop at a boat launch where we found a few southern species, most notably fish crows and black vultures. Next, we made a scheduled stop for some car maintenance. With a little time on our hands while we waited, we explored the surrounding area finding a surprising array of birds. We're near Baton Rouge at a tire repair shop waiting for the car to get fixed. And uh, we've been looking at some of the birds and things that are around the area. And we found Carolina Wren, uh, a couple more house sparrows, a great blue heron, which was neat to see. And uh, we're still gonna see if there's any more species, but now I'm over 10 for Louisiana, so we're making progress. A little more searching yielded a downy woodpecker, Canada geese, and northern mockingbirds. Also in the vicinity were a few reptile species, including alligators and a ribbon snake. I was able to catch this ribbon snake. We saw like three snakes by some water, and we weren't able to get any of them because they just like left. Um, but this guy was just kind of stunning, so I was able to grab him. He looks like he wants to bite you, but, yeah, and he now he wants this. to bite me. <laughs> Very beautiful though. I love that slender body shape. Ooh. Wow, he has a really cool color. Very beautiful. Well, what do you think? First Louisiana snake in a hand. That's awesome. I'm a little nervous to grab snakes out here because there's some venomous ones, unlike Wisconsin, where it's rattlesnake or non-venomous, but this guy's a pretty obvious non-venomous snake, and he's really pretty. Hey, right, buddy. You ready? 
After releasing the snake, we retrieved the car and made our way to a more wild location just outside of the capital city. We walked the trails through the swampy forest where we heard a barred owl and located a few interesting amphibians, including a fowler's toad and a tiny salamander. We're out here near Baton Rouge, Louisiana, just flipping some logs and got this western dwarf salamander. Aww. It's adorable. He is dwarf. Ah. Oh, he's fast. I told you, they move like skinks. He's a fast one. Yeah, they're very quick. We moved out of the forest and into an open area near a river, where we had some luck finding sparrows. Several chipping sparrows and a swamp sparrow made themselves known here. We then made a short drive to Capitol Lake and Veterans Memorial Park, which had the feel of a classic southern city, in large part due to a particular plant covering many of the trees. Here we have some Spanish moss. So this is pretty much a common thing in most of the southern states. It grows on a lot of the trees and you'll see it kind of hanging down. To the touch, it feels like an air plant and you'll see it just all over the trees. In addition to being very beautiful, the area surrounding the lakes proved to be excellent for birding. Here we found an impressive amount of black-bellied whistling ducks, coots, and white-winged doves, along with smaller numbers of some other species too. This is a cool spot. It's neat, isn't it? Um, there's normally a lot more here. I'm, it's dependent on season, what's all around. But some other things I've seen are like ringneck ducks, um, some other migratory stuff. I've seen bluebirds here. Um, like I said, it just depends on the season, what's around. We left Capitol Lake and made our last stop of the day as the sun was starting to set. Known as the University Lakes, this location consisted of shallow water and held many cormorants, as well as a few wood ducks that were shockingly cooperative. I ended day number one with 45 species of birds and a few new species of reptiles and amphibians too. It was extremely fun to be in a new state so drastically different than the ones I spend most of my time in, and the next days would prove to be just as interesting if not more interesting than my first. Be sure to check the next video out as it becomes available for viewing. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.